strategic management process involves building a careful understanding of how the world changes around us and how these changes might impact our organization. So we have four different steps that we go through in the strategic management process where we pay attention to our own organization, the environment around us. We select the strategies that we need to use to be successful in our industry and in the general environment, and then we implement that. That is the strategic management process. So in step number one, we need to understand strategy and we need to understand the performance of our organization. So the top leaders of the organization need to have an understanding of what strategy is. As this chapter, chapter one, talks about, it's both an art and a science. We can learn from history, from war history, from ancient history of how strategy and tactics have been developed and what has worked in the past. And we can also look at what's currently being done in our industry and in the general environment. What are our competitors doing? What is their strategy? So we need to understand what strategy is. And then we need to understand how to interpret our own organization's performance so that we know how we are doing against that strategy. That's step one. Step number two is to do scanning, environmental and internal. The environmental scanning is the external to the organization scanning, meaning we are scanning the environment that sits outside of the organization. In this external environment, we look for trends and events that affects the economy, that affects the world. And so we pay attention to what goes on there. We also pay attention to what goes on in our particular industry, meaning are you in the banking industry? Are you in retail? Are you in automotive? Are you in hospitality? What is your industry? So both in the general overall economy and in our specific industry. Then we also do internal scanning, meaning we keep an eye on what we have inside our organization, our own resources and our own capabilities. How are we doing? What do we have internally that will help us meet the challenges that the external environment is giving us? One external example on this slide is Apple. Apple decided to create the iPhone many years ago at this point. And when that happened, Apple really demonstrated that they have the ability to look for new ways of producing products where industries that might have seen been been and seen uh, to be separate were actually blending, such as the phone, cellular phone industry and the computer industry. When the iPhone was produced, those two industries were seen as distinct and Apple was seeing the blurring between the industries and created essentially a computer in a cellular phone. For an internal example, we have Tesla. Tesla pro, uh, produces, designs and produces electric vehicle, uh, vehicles, 100% elec electrical vehicles. We had in the United States in 2017 a hurricane that was really uh, severe and impacted the families where it came through. And even though intellectual property is really a vital resource for Tesla, it's something that they compete on in the automotive industry, during this hurricane, Tesla decided to unlock extra battery capacity for Tesla owners so that they would have a broader range, more range, so that they could make uh, their way home or to a safe place. So while we normally have a shorter range on our Teslas during the hurricane, the executives of Tesla broadened that range so drivers could make it to a safe place. Um, and they did that by activating software that normally costs additional money for Tesla owners. And they did that because they had the resources internally and they were looking after their customers. In step number three, we have strategy formulation. This is where we are looking to develop very specific strategies and actions. What are we gonna do within our organizations to be competitive? So here in strategy formulation, 
we choose business level strategies as well as corporate level strategies. A business level strategy talks about how we compete in a specific industry. How does Tesla compete within the automotive industry? How does Apple compete in the cellular phone industry? And then corporate level strategies talks about what are the industries we're actually going to compete in? So Tesla or Elon Musk might say we are going to compete in the automotive industry and they might say we're also going to compete in the space industry and we're going to compete in the transportation industry by building tunnels on, under uh, Los Angeles. We also choose what geographic areas to compete in. So if we are a multi multinational corporation, what are the countries and what are the content continents where we choose to operate? So as an example here, part of Apple's success has really been the unique products that it offers to its marketplace. And so that is a business level strategy. And Apple also considers how these products complement one another. So you have the Apple phone, you have the Apple watch, and you have the laptop, for instance, and they all work together in an Apple ecosystem. Lastly, in step number four, we have strategy implementation. And this is now where we are going to execute the strategy that we have built and formulated. And here we need to make sure that we have an organization that is structured in a way that allows us to execute on this strategy properly. So organizational structure always need to follow strategy. The organization needs to be structured in a way that we can allocate our resources most efficiently and effectively to execute strategy. We also want to make sure that we have a corporate culture that makes us successful. Are we a competitive organization? Are we a collaborative organization? Are we a service-minded organization? We should find that out and we should make sure that all the employees within our organization knows what kind of a corporate culture we have so that they know what is expected. As an example here, we're continuing on with the Apple example. And one could argue that part of Apple's success has been its consistent fo focus on innovation and creativity. So one could say that Apple has a really learning oriented uh, and creative and innovative uh, culture that allows it to come up with such unique products for the marketplace. And possibly that was Steve Jobs, uh, what he created for the organization, having a culture that was kind of like a startup organization. This textbook that we are covering in this playlist here will cover everything involved in strategy and multinational corporate management. Chapter one on your very left is this chapter. Here is where we are learning about what strategy is. Chapter two talks about what kind of a leader we need to be to be strategic. Chapter three and four falls under the environmental and internal scanning and talks about how we evaluate the external environment and how we manage our resources internal to our company. In chapter five, six, seven, and eight, we are learning how to formulate strategy, doing things such as selecting business level strategy, supporting the business level strategy through competitive and cooperative moves, how we compete in international markets, and how we select corporate level strategies. And lastly, in strategy implementation, we have chapter nine and 10, how we execute strategy through organizational design and structure, and how we lead ethically, how we govern the organization, and how we make sure we are socially responsible towards our stakeholders. So with that, I look forward to having you throughout the entire textbook on this uh, video list. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.